How are you doing, lads and lasses? I am that bad little Scott, and welcome back to another urban exploration adventure. Today, we're not at the old factory. We're at, well, I don't even know what this place is called, but it's on the top of a mountain, and it's a half built construction site. Now, at first, we thought we were going to be able to get in here. However, I have to be explained why we're here. Um, who are each of the videos and stuff like that. We've got a lot of luck on our side. Because the nice uh, security guard guy is like, Hi, oh, you want to come in and uh, have a look around? We're like, yes. Get in. Obviously, with all these videos, we're, expl we're explorers, which means we don't touch or break anything, and we don't take anything. We're just here to observe and document. But that's the rule of the open exploration lifestyle, and we're going to keep it. Okay, we got the whole complex ready, and we're going to take our first venture in through that door there. You got me, and you got my collab cool brother here, Harry. Hi. He doesn't really like to be in front of the camera much, so uh, most of this is going to be mainly me talking probably, but uh, feel free to pipe up with anything you see. As you can see, I think this is planning on being some sort of kitchen area. You see the tile work there. Although, to be honest, I'm not sure what they're planning on doing. Dust covered everything, which means it's, inc well, it's at least five years old. Oh, looks like they got a shit plaster in. Need to get that sorted out. Oh, it's getting a bit dark now. I feel like we're walking dead or something. Now, as this is an abandoned construction site, there's going to be like hardly any furniture or anything that really denotes what rooms are for and, you know, nobody's lived here yet, is basically what I'm saying. However, it should still be fun and an interesting exploration exercise. Ooh, very dark in here. Some pipes. Yeah, yeah, this is, uh, we found our way into Jimmy Savile's basement now. Ooh, unfinished steps here. That's definitely a shower. Yeah, definitely. You can see the drain work there. And actually, these, uh, right here will be where the toilet is. That'll be the pipes we've seen in, uh, in the basement down below. Nice little window and a light location here. Interesting tiles. I don't think they make these kind of tiles anymore. I haven't seen them around. Whoop. Well, at least unlike the factory, the floors in this place are steady and strong. Not going to fall to our death here. Oh, look at this. Got a nice wee uh, little courtyard here. What's out here? Ooh. I'm not sure whether this is dirt or whether it was some kind of carpet or something back in the day, but... Looks like it used to be some kind of material. All just crumbled now. Uh, no, you know what that probably is actually, it's that gaucho stuff that you, uh, once you've concreted to waterproof it, you paint it on. Obviously if it hasn't been, uh, hasn't been used for so long, you can see the vista. Yeah, it does. I mean, think about what happens to like rubber bands and, and stuff like that, they're old as heck. They just end up crumbling and tearing apart. Oh, hello. People have definitely been here before. How do you mean? Graffiti. Oh yeah. We've got signs of human life. Oh, well <laughs> there, there we go. Get out of here, this place is mine, bitch. Okay then, turns out we got uh, Jesse Pinkman from Breaking Bad showing up here. <laughs> yeah, bitch. Oh, you've got a door here. What's behind door number three? Nothing. My life in, in a nutshell. I mean, obviously this place has been abandoned long enough that uh, plant life is actually starting to regrow here. The guy who was secure in here said that it was abandoned as well, didn't he? Yeah, it was abandoned. It's only recently be, been bought over again.
thing is about buildings like this is there's so much stories to be told. You know, the lives that could have been led here, the people that may have lived. Fortunately for a building like this, it hasn't even been lived in yet. There's not much to be told, apart from, you know, general construction work banter. But maybe one day people will return to this place and it will be rebuilt. Only time will tell. Standing on the edge. Yeah, we're going to have to be careful here because there is no hand railing for any of these areas, so... You know, far from here you might only break your leg, but still, that's... We're that far away from town, so not a very good idea. And of course, uh, Harry's mum's not going to be too happy with me if uh, we have to call her up and say that Harry fell off and broke his leg. Oh, look, there's another one. Oh, yeah. This was probably one that the rich people live in. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that's where the servants sleep. No. Look, there's more here than we thought. Whoa. Okay, oh, looks like we're definitely going to be here a while. <laughs> Whoa, there's another pool. Wow. Well, it's more like a terrace area now. Looks like this whole area is uh, one big urbanization project. None of it's lived in apart from the security guard's house. Check out that view. That's a beautiful view of the whole vista. How much do you reckon a place like this would cost when finished for location wise and property value? Probably be looking at at least yeah. a quarter million for one of these places. Yeah. Good luck, Larry. Get the barbecue going. Once we're finishing this specific building, we'll hop over the wall and get over to the other areas. And back down the floor. Oh, what you found in it? Oh, it looks like we found a... All right, get in the tub, Harry. <laughs> ah, I don't think the water is connected just yet. There isn't even any taps. Down to the terrace floor we went in. I'm thinking these are definitely bedrooms, yeah. Boom. Oh shit! <laughs> the jump scares in this place, man. A hundred quid to walk across that. Uh, no. I mean, I'm not... Hurry, man, no. It's not happening. I mean, I think someone's been sitting out there, actually. Well, they put a door out there to stand on, over there. <laughs> Obviously the people that came up here to smoke weed and get high and graffiti everywhere. If you wonder what these holes in the ceiling are people, I'm pretty sure they're ventilation units. Quite effective. Oh, another shower and... I definitely got a uh, whole area up here. This would be that moment where the little demon child would just reach out and grab me face. Having a shower. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, this place smells a lot better than most abandoned buildings I've been in. The door frames look quite modern. Yeah. Of course, everything's covered in dust, but the paintwork on it is alright. Looks like some sort of electric box. Yeah, it does. Well, that's exactly what it is. But to be fair, these kind of fuses here that you can see. They're actually quite old. Obviously, when they rebuild this place and begin work on it again, they'll redo everything. Oh, look at that, another shower. I think that's what we went in. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's hope our driver remembers we're here. We might have to live here now. Oh, another creepy basement. Still enough light diffusion here actually, so it's not super dark. Camera still picks it up, which is always good. Oh, don't know what this room is going to be. 
Just go. Just got a bucket. They might have to come up here and record the music. The acoustics in here are amazing. Echo! Ah, I need to get a life. Oh yeah, YouTubing is my life. And now we've come out on the other side of where we went in. There's a um, Back out to the light. There's a tunnel in it. Really? Let's check that out. Aye. No matter where you go, you've got these prickly, prickly plants. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. Bob the Builder is a dickhead. Ooh. Now we're going into the creepy part. Ah, don't you just love a tunnel with a dead ending? Like, this is literally the moment in the movie where we'd like, slowly turn around and the guy with the machete would just be standing there. Machete and a shotgun. Why would you need a machete and a shotgun? I'm pretty sure a shotgun would do a job better than the machete, or the other way around, considering we have no defence. Yeah, so as you can see, the, that room there with the wheelbarrow is where we started off. What? Oh, snap. Good news, not only have we got Illuminati, but wait. I'm pretty sure they tried to do a pentagram, but ended up doing the Jewish star instead. <laughs> Excellent. We can come down here and look for this small stairs. Oh, would you look at that? That probably leads yeah. to the other hand. Yeah, I was just thinking that myself. I mean, to be fair, that actually kind of looks like that guy from Gravity Falls. Although, the, oh, si yeah. the six, six, six on it is not... Definitely not Of course, it's the farthest place from the security guy. Oh dear. The Whoa. Oh my gosh. Hip-hop is not a crime. Crime. Man got crime, man got crime. Everybody knows how hip-hop rhymes. Ya no aguanto tantas mentira. Mentira. I don't hold lots of lies. Or something like that. Though because obviously the, uh, the Spanish um, came up here with this. Spelling's a bit off, but it's alright. They tried, they tried the best. Another, another basement for for family friendly activities. And we'll walk here. Yeah. yeah. This seems to be the favourite house. Yeah, it definitely does. Yeah, at least this one's got some colour on it. I do quite like the graffiti in some places. It can end up being. Uh... Fair enough. Something like live the life of a gangster with uh, something filled with diamonds. Okay then. I'm pretty sure anybody who comes here is not gangster at all. So. Just a. I mean, you know what is actually surprising? The amount of graffiti up here, but there's hardly any cigarette butts or joint butts or beer cans or anything. So, like, so what is this? Like the Christian group or something like? The good boys show up, show up here to graffiti and leave. Pretty, oh, pretty sure all this place will be some really, really good looking houses eventually. Coming up here, you can see the uh, plaster has been chiseled off and where they're going to be putting wiring in. Well, 
Yeah, like, you'd think they'd do something like they'd spray paint, like, dark red all over the place, make it look like someone got chopped up in the mouth, but... I mean, to be fair, maybe these aren't... are complete assholes that are coming up here and doing it. Oh, they seem to have left the bedrooms untouched. This one's got a terrace as well. Oh, does it? Nice. See, I think them steps lead. Yeah, they do. Yeah, I'm thinking this was actually the uh, the other side of the terrace that we'd just come up. Because yeah. we were literally right there, and now we're here. Again, the beautiful view. See, it's like the only problem places like this is they're all sort of like cookie cutter houses. So they all basically look the same. So I'm thinking our next mission is to get over to there. Where the houses look different design and we can get some new footage. Yeah, because we can sort of see the town they look the same. Yeah. That one over there looks like it's a painting. Mm-hmm. Let's find out whether they're finished or not. Yeah, 